Motor Funner here. Today I'm doing my fourth bi-weekly video for this year. Something that I started this year and it's been working out quite well. So today's video is on uh, how to change a paper oil filter. So what I've got here is a 08 Malibu with a 2.4 Ecotec 4 cylinder and the oil filter is located down there where that cap is and it's just a paper filter like this it doesn't have the metal canister in it anymore this is a little different than the one that I used on my actual video I had to go buy another one for this little demonstration here I already went ahead and took the oil cap off the bottom there and the drain plug and I've got a pan under there and the oil is draining right now so I went ahead and I wiped off the cap you can see the size of the nut on top there is quite big so what I'm using is my inch and a quarter wrench and that's what I use to loosen it off here and it shouldn't be too terribly tight and then you can just take this outer cap off here so there's what this looks like I got the filter out and it's just a, a cap here and it sits up inside of the, the cap took the filter off and you probably want to clean that up inside of there dry out all the used oil so there's the old filter not looking so good and now you need to remove the old o-ring off of the side here that out with a cloth. Try and clean out the threads a little bit as well. I'll just get the air hose and clean it out the rest of the way. And then make sure that you get the top ridge nice and clean because that's where your o-ring is going to go back into oh there we go so my new filter comes with some instructions and it comes with a new o-ring my new filter already has the uh, o-ring attached right on the top here. I don't know if you can see it enough. That green, that's the o-ring that's already attached on the on the filter port. And there's the other o-ring that goes onto the cap. Just kind of tip over my oil can a little bit, get it right up to the edge. dipping my o-ring in there so it's nice and oily take it out. take your cap and right around this top ridge here that's where I found the old one so I replaced it back where it was and you can go ahead and assemble these two pieces now this is gonna snap into place there so that it kind of holds it keeps it from falling out Get a little bit of oil on my finger here and lubricate that other o-ring that's there another thing that I did 
I just made sure that it was clean above the threads there where the o-ring seals so you just take your fil filter assembly after you've lubed up that uh, o-ring there and just drop it down inside of here I'm trying to do this with my lefty here again so it's a little more difficult and it screws in fairly easily make sure you don't cross thread it it should be going in nice and easy for most of the way until you get to the o-ring part now it says to look up the manufacturer spe specifications which I haven't done yet and I wouldn't have the torque wrench to get on there anyway so I'm just gonna have to do this one just by feel and I wouldn't be tightening that up too hard because that is just a hard plastic and it could break very easily in your SOL. Personally, I just tighten it up and just make sure that you're all the way tight with the o ring here and make sure that you don't have a gap in between the plastic and the metal there. Just make sure that that o ring is sealing up. Well, I got the filter in, just going to fill it up with oil. So I got my owner's manual out, and this is a 2.4 liter Ecotech, so in standard it takes 5 quarts or 4.7 liters, and most manuals should have that under capacities and specifications. And the grade of oil, I just went by what's on the cap because I know this car, the cap has never been changed. And it says to put 5W30 in, so I've done that. Well, I'm going to run it for a little while. It's definitely got oil in it. for a little while and then I check for leaks after it's run for about a minute or two then I go ahead and shut it off so this gives it a chance to circulate the oil around a little bit and then I let it sit for an extra couple of minutes again yet just to make sure that uh, just to make sure that the oil has ran back down to the bottom of the pan and then I'm going to check the oil just to make sure that I've got enough in it.